here's a just a glimpse of some of my media that I have laying around. This is a whole tote. I haven't really went through this one right yet. That's uh, two rows deep. Probably like a 50 gallon tote. What's up guys, Shad Juice here. Finally back at you with another video. I know it's been, shoot, probably going on two weeks now. Uh, like, like you knew in the last video, uh, I was having some uh, chest pains and stuff and figured out it was uh, bad anxiety attacks and uh, my doctor gave me some stuff to help with that. It's been a little bit better. I've had a few since, so uh, kind of scary, but it's just a lot going on in life, man. Not just what's, you know, this coronavirus stuff and ain't that. Just, you know, personal stuff. If you didn't know, my wife's got MS and stuff like that and just all kinds of other stuff. Should have done it years ago. Waited too damn long. But, uh, anyways, uh, been trying to get some stuff listed this week. I got a lot of old, uh, video game inventory and video games and media selling like hotcakes online on eBay. That's what I've been selling a lot of lately, but that's like stuff I kind of sell anyways. But I got a lot of back stock on things, so that's really helpful right now. Because I'm not going out sourcing. It's not worth it to risk uh, my family and my wife's immune system and stuff, so kind of just staying in the house. I am an essential employee at work, so I've been going there, re working my regular 40 hours every week. Um, so kind of stinks going to work. Just not knowing what's going on. I'd say like 80% of our buildings uh, either working from home or out on medical. So, yeah, so I'm still working full time, trying to do as much eBay as I can. I'm going to averaging about seven to 10 sales a night still. So that ain't bad. Um, We'll get into what, uh, what I got going on here. So uh, here's uh, just a glimpse of some of my media that I have laying around. This is a whole tote. I haven't really went through this one right yet. That's uh, two rows deep. Probably like a 50 gallon tote of this disc bass games. Here's some rock band and guitar hero stuff I'll need to bundle up. We got another gigantic tote of disc bass games here. Um, this kid mode stuff I've had since uh, last garage sale season. And this stuff sells great. I can make a lot of money out of this. I just need to start lotting it up. I don't know why I've been uh, messing around. I sold like one little small one for like 20 bucks. Uh, so I know there's some that are scratched up and maybe missing the disc. So that's why I got to go through them. But I should be able to at least make $200 on these, I'm thinking. So need to get to that. Recently, I purchased that big crate of records there. There's a little over 100 I'm probably going to make a separate video for that if you guys want to see what records I got. Um, there's some uh, good rock and roll. There's some uh, all kinds of mixture stuff. There's some classical and jazz and stuff. There could be uh, some gems in there. I know there was like a Sam Cooke record that was at least about 40 bucks. But like I said, I haven't comped them all. But guys, I got game. I mean, look at all the systems I got. There's them totes back there are all filled with like PS1 and PS2 games. Um, it's just it's insane. That black tote down there is cartridge games. Nothing like really high, high end. There might be some Mario Worlds and stuff in there. Like, I don't have that listed. Lunar. Look that up. Dracula. There's another Lunar in there somewhere, but yeah. Got work to do. I'm trying to do as much as I can. Like all these tubs are cords and controllers. There's N64s. So we got stuff to list forever, it seems like. But this is what I got going on right now. I finally got around to charging this. I found the cord. It's a blue PSP. I don't remember how much I paid for it. It wasn't much or it came in a lot. So I'm thinking I at least get 50, 60 bucks for that. I haven't looked it up yet. Found a hawk in one of these bins. That's probably about 15 bucks. I don't have the manual. Um, we got a 
NCAA Football 13. This is actually selling for 20 25 bucks right now, guys. You know the 14 is worth money, but you can make some money on the 13 too, so don't sleep on that. I had to test it. It was kind of scratchy. It worked good. So we're all good there. I resurfaced this Resident Evil. I haven't tested it yet for Saturn. That's probably about a $50 game. Cannon Spike on a Dreamcast. Now I've played this before. It's really scratched up. Look at them deep scratches there. But I've played it and it worked. It looks horrible. But this is like a $100 game loose, guys. So I'm going to retest it again. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But yeah, that's what we're working on right now. Try to get a system listed tonight. Maybe an N64 or something. But, uh, I mean, there's good stuff in there. Haven't really looked through it too much. Like, probably make some money on that. Lighting stuff up. Just a bunch of Dragon Ball Z games. Just good stuff to light up, probably. Nothing like too, too expensive. Oh, there's some NBA Streets, NFL Street. So, Donkey Kong Country. Is that another Donkey Kong Country? Ninja Gaiden. I know there's a Ninja Gaiden game that's worth some money now. I don't think it's that one. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of crap in there. So yeah, that's what we're working on now. I do have some uh, sales I can show you here in a second. Got eight sales so far. It's like, uh, what? Nine o'clock at night. Might get a couple more, but uh, I'm going to try to get some of this stuff listed. And uh, we'll show you some sales here in a few. All right, guys, I wanted to show this. I want to know if I'm being petty or this supply company is being petty. All right, I got 250 of these bubble envelopes, right? And uh, if you could tell, it's not centered. See how, like, where the crease is right here? There's a lot less room than over here, All right? All the envelopes in the whole box are like this, right? So, so this is like, you know, DVD size. It's a PS2 game. It, it's like really tight fitting. Like, it's not... It's like really tight. To, I gotta shove it in there. Then it feels like the side's gonna rip out. So, I messaged them and told them about it, right? I don't care. This is Supply Hut. It's one of the bigger companies I'm sure people have used. And I told them about it. They said, hi. The usable area is still the same even though it is not centered. Okay, I just showed you guys how... I sent them pictures of all this stuff. It's not... I don't know. I'm not happy with them. Because the DVD is going to be like all the way on this side of it. And their envelopes... You can see how it started to rip there just putting it in there. I don't know. There's like, you know, 23 bucks. But still, I'm not happy with them. So I messaged them back. So I said, so are you guys going to stand by your defective envelopes? And they never replied back. And they do get a lot of negative uh, feedbacks I've seen. So I don't know. We'll see if they write me back. But uh, Let me know if you guys think I'm being petty. I don't think so. But I don't know. Wanted to show you guys these show you guys these boxes I got off of eBay. I got a really good deal on them. They're Super Nintendo boxes. I uh, wanted a few for the collection. Uh, I just got a lot of them because they were cheap. It was mostly box and manual. Let me get to where see how much I paid for some of these. But yeah, they were like ten to fifteen bucks a piece. So lady was really cool. Um, she ended up having. I was like, how many more you got? And she had a couple. There's a couple games I didn't get. One of them I really wanted. But I missed it. So uh, I'll show you what all I got here. We got Zelda Link to the Pass. This doesn't have the manual. But it has a, like the little cheat book in it. All these games right here I need cartridges for. So Lost Vikings. Which I thought I had that. But I only had. Uh, I got the second version. So I need that. Gradius 3, which I already have complete, but we picked it up anyways. 
We got super R type. That's got all the paperwork in it. We got Harley's Humongous Adventure. Card's only about 10 to 12 bucks, so they ain't too bad. Uh, it's got the poster and everything in it, so it's pretty super complete. That would probably end up going to being about a $50 game once I complete it. We got Wearing the Time as Carmen San Diego. This is a huge box. Um, it's missing the book, but it has the regular box in it with the manual. Then we got F Zero. Just missing the cart. It's another cheap cart. I say the Zelda and uh, Lost Vikings are going expensive carts there. And these are the ones I got that I completed. I just uh, completed this one, the Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge. Actually, uh, picked this up from. Uh... <laughs> well, I, I picked it up from Ben. Uh... Resell. Oh my God! I can't believe I can't remember. Uh... <laughs> Ready, set, resell. God, my bad, Ben. Anyways, he had the cart listed on his eBay store, so I picked it up. It was like eight something shit. So that helped me complete that one. And we completed Pilot Wings. Batman Returns. Super Empire Strikes Back. And this one's pretty cool. This Phalanx. It's the Hyper Speed Shootout in Space. And then this is like one of the craziest covers on Super Nintendo. Some old guy with a banjo. But it's a shooter game, and I love my shooters, so I was happy to complete it. I had the card already. And here's some of the prices I paid. So she cut me a deal for the five here. She wanna charge me 45 free shipping, which I flanks box and the those are all four shooter games and that. So I paid 45 for those shipped. Paid 10 for Super Star Wars, 10 for Harleys, 10 for Pilot Wings, 15 for Zelda, 14 for Spider Man, 17 for Batman, and 13 for Lost Vikings. I thought that was a great deal. So, uh, every time somebody like, I look at like newly posted and I seen a box and then, like I'll wait and see if they I'll just like stay on their page and see if they post another one. And she posted about 15 boxes and I got most of them. So that was cool. So uh, I guess we'll get into what's sold for tonight. All right, guys, let's get into what's sold. Uh, it's Thursday night. So this is the stuff that sold, you know, today on Thursday, April 2nd. So, uh, it's 9.20, so I could have a few more sales, so we'll see. First up, we got this Human Torch uh, Marvel Universe figure. This is from that big buy I bought last year, probably in October. And, uh, I had like 70-something of these little three-and-a-half-inch figures, and I got like three or four left, maybe. This sold for $26.95. This is one of the higher-end higher, higher end ones, so pretty cool sale there. Alright, remember at uh, St. Vincent de Paul, you can't really see it, but this is that uh, Chaps uh, Ralph Lauren uh, vintage uh, cologne. Picked this up for 3 bucks at uh, St. Vincent de Paul. We got $35.95 free shipping on it, so that was a good price. It was like 80% full, so good deal there. If you didn't know, guys, if you got any webcams laying around right now, they're selling like hotcakes. This was a lower end webcam. I mean, it's a Logitech, but it was what, a 1.3 megapixel. So I listed it for $35 free shipping today. I found it in a drawer and it's sold for uh, $34.95 free shipping. It's light, probably go about six ounce or eight, put it in a little box. So pretty good sale there. All right. As everybody knows, people are buying puzzles right now. I had this listed and I relisted it yesterday. Cheaper, made it a few bucks cheaper. Got a $19.95 plus shipping on top for this one. So John Deere Golden Harvest thousand piece. Got this at a Goodwill for uh, three bucks. So three and a twenty, easy to ship. Like puzzles, I only buy new puzzles. I won't buy any other ones. 
Got a, this came out of one of my death pile bins, NBA Street. It's a cheap one. I thought it was worth a little bit more before I even looked it up. It was, I only got $8.95 free shipping on it. No big deal. Make a few bucks on it at least. We got uh, got Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I think this is a uh, 2008 Beijing. This one was complete in nice condition. This used to be a $5 game all day long. I got $14.95 free ship. So prices of games on some of them have went up. Wii Sports. If you got Wii Sports, don't wait to trade them in at GameStop. Sell them on eBay. They're going for 30 bucks right now. Crazy. Uh, let's see what else we got here. This right here is a lot of eight loose wrestling games for the PlayStation 3. This was in a lot. I didn't get this lot on film at all, but uh, it's about two weeks ago before this Corona thing got real crazy. I had uh, had an ad response, and uh, this lady had a binder with 66 loose PlayStation 3 games in it, and uh, one of them was NCAA 14, so that already paid for itself. Well, she wanted 40 for the binder, sold that game for 60, and uh. Then she had a a, a super a mini Super Nintendo and she only wanted ten bucks for that. Sold that for eighty free ship. So I was already up like eighty bucks. Then I made a bunch of lots. Like I made a lot of uh, Need for Speed games. Four of those loose. I got twenty five bucks for. Made a loose a lot of uh, basketball games. Got like twenty three bucks. So. I made a lot of lots and I've sold a few games by themselves, so I'm well around $200 profit on that deal, which was cool. But this was a lot of eight wrestling games, got $22.45 plus the buyer paid shipping. So great deal on that. Let's see, I think we're down to our last thing here. It's gonna be hard to see, like these are battle borgs. This is a Force 2-pack Agent Blue Stinger. I can. It took forever to find any information on this, this 2-pack variant. I got this at a little flea market for like a less than a dollar. And um, it finally sold. I had it listed high because there was no sold comps on it. I've rare, barely found a picture of it on Google. Finally sold for $42.70 plus shipping. Took the buyer about a week to pay for it. So, like, he won it, and then he asked me if I had any more. I told him no. And then uh, I had sent him a payment reminder. He didn't, And then he said, uh, oh, I asked you if you had any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I just told him, no, not right now. And then he still didn't pay, and then eBay sent him the notification, and then he finally paid tonight, so... Uh, that's aggravating, but at least it's paid for. We'll see if we have any problems with him. But uh, that's going to end it for the video, guys. I appreciate you taking your time out of your day to watch this. I'm going to try to get some more videos up in the future. Um, feeling a little bit better now, so hopefully we'll get some out there. Hit this video with a thumbs up if you could, man. That's all I ever asked for you guys. And that's it. Just a thumbs up would be cool with me. Help my channel get a little bit more views, maybe. Get it, get me out there a little bit, guys. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.